Hi everyone, I wanted to do a quick video about showers, shower curtains, shower rods, whatever. So the first thing, you might be having some trouble, uh, maybe you're going to replace a shower curtain, maybe there's uh, some sort of issues that are going on with your shower curtain rod, maybe it's falling down. Uh, there's two types, there's the kind that are screwed into the wall, we're not going to focus on that today. Uh, those ones usually are pretty stable and if it's falling off that that means you're having some troubles with the screws. But there's another uh, very common type here. It's actually a spring-loaded uh, shower curtain rod. And if this thing keeps falling down on you, it just needs adjusting. Very easy to do. Of course, I'm not in the shower showing you this because it's a very small shower. It's only 40, about 41 inches wide. I, I couldn't, couldn't video this in there. But anyways, if your shower rod, this style, that doesn't, that's not screwed into the wall, how they work is that they, they have a spring in this tube. And if it keeps falling down, that means that it needs adjusting, which is very easy to do. So it's in two pieces. See this? There's a spring in there. And what, what you can do, if it's too tight, you need to turn it in. I'm gonna move closer here. See how it's, it's moving in. And if it's too loose and keeps falling down, you need to screw this out. And you just have to find that balance where you can manage to fit it up in there, compress that spring that's in there a bit. It's a pretty tough spring. And uh, that's gonna solve your problems if this thing keeps, you know, falling down. Now, second. I have a pretty small shower and it's actually really hard to find a shower curtain that fits. The most common ones are about 70 inches wide by 72 inches uh, in height. Now 72 inches is a very standard si size. So if you have a fixed one, they're probably all going to be 72. And if you have the one like I, I have, which is a spring loaded one, of course you can adjust that up and down. So it's not an issue with length. But the width, now these come standard, they're about 70 inches wide and putting a 70 inch wide shower curtain into a 40 inch shower, it's just, it's gonna look stupid for one thing. And you're gonna have all this folding, it's just gonna be messy looking, it's, trust me, it's not gonna work out. So you're thinking, well, I cannot seem to find the proper width for my shower. Easy solution. If it's a vinyl or plastic especially, I don't want to talk about uh, fabric ones because I'm not sure on those, it depends how the fabric is, is constructed, but for vinyl and plastic you can simply trim it to size. It doesn't tell you anything about trimming them, but you can trim them. So I picked up this cheap one here, it's only about uh, $12, of course, unfortunately made in China. And the other thing that you're going to pick up, a package of especially if they're plastic ones that you already have. You might as well pick up some of these. They're like $2 for a pack. Because if you have plastic ones, when you go to take them off, they're probably gonna break and yeah, they're probably all gross looking anyway. So what I'm gonna do is show you quickly how to easily trim your shower curtain to fit. And uh, that will be the basics just to get you started. All right, so here we go. All right, let's get this uh, shower curtain out of here. Move to a, an open area here. Wow, how's this thing stuck in there? Wow, they don't want you to... Just, just have to rip that off of there. Get that out. And... Here's the top, find the top. Okay, so I'm just looking at this. There's actually a perfect crease. And I mean, you don't have to be super precise. It's a 12, it, it's a piece of, it's $12 for this piece of plastic. So um, I have a mark at the top because, you know, ideally maybe I could like make a nice line along there. But you know what, there's a crease here and it's about an inch in from that crease. So, 
And and as I said, I'm limited on room here. I, I couldn't really lay this out. So I'm just gonna start cutting along here. It's pretty much all you have to do. And if you have good scissors, you'll just be able to cut right along that crease. Okay, so we have our shower curtain trimmed up here. Now, this is just a cheap shower curtain. So, um, some of them have like a brass or metal, I guess kind of like a grommet. This is just a cheap one. So it has a little plastic, it's just a real little plastic circle. Just have to push out this little piece here and then you'll Pull that out. So now you have a little hole in there. And ideally your shower bar would be up uh, in your shower. But for demonstration, um, I'll just put one of these rings on here. Basically they, this style anyways, it just locks in like this. So you put this on shower curtain bar so it's hanging down there and then you just simply uh, insert the ring into the into the shower curtain hole there and hook it in Hope you saw that, it's hard to do, uh, do that again. So just put it on the shower curtain, and then it just sort of uh, snaps into place. So you go ahead, keep doing that, and um, voila, you have your shower curtain ready to go. Easy as that. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Take care, have a great night. Talk to you again, like and subscribe. Click on the bell for notifications if you want to see more videos. Alright, bye bye.